YouTube. Welcome to the first installment of You Want How Much for These Comics? I was reading a uh, blog and someone had online about looking on Craigslist for comics. And they mentioned that they don't really have any interest in purchasing, purchasing them. They just do it for fun, to, just to see how much some people actually want for their comics. You know, a lot of people uh, think are disillusioned when it comes to old comics and think just because it's old, you know, something back in the 90s, that it's going to be automatically worth something. Which, of course, is not the case. In fact, uh, one of my other videos up here is a uh, goes over my purchase from offer up recently where I purchased it was 193 comics for I think $35 and you can see what I got there and it's the condition on most of them was not very good a lot of them are actually pretty poor in fact I actually threw some of them away which is hard to do but they were the covers were part of the covers were ripped completely off and actually had mold on them so I can't keep something like that. Anyway, I bring that up because the fellow that uh, brought them over here told me, and these were his words, you hit the mother load. These are going to be worth a fortune. <laughs> and the truth is, and they're not going to be worth, uh, who knows if they're even worth the 20 cents that I paid for each one. But enough about that. So I got to thinking. And uh, this part isn't just in my area. I'm in the Kansas City area. So just go on to OfferUp, and it's mostly that website, and you'll see a lot of people selling comics for asking quite a bit. And they really, I think, really, you went that much? Not so much on Craigslist. People who post uh, comics on Craigslist usually have a pretty good idea. They're maybe not going to get what they want, but they're, they're, what they're asking for is not ridiculous. You know, like the people that put on uh, selling on Conks on Craigslist usually have a good idea of what they have and have some idea of what it's actually worth. So anyway, so I thought, well, I'm going to make a little video on here about to my experiences with this. So I looked through OfferUp, and I looked through Craigslist recently, within the last month. It now being March 3rd, I believe is. And so, all right, let's get started on here. Now, first up, I have 15 comics for $190. This is from OfferUp. And I actually told the person that the, that these really aren't worth, aren't worth a lot. Of, I think you should consider lowering your price. Actually, you look down here, you can actually see their toes. Mm, cute uh, painted toenails. <laughs> anyway, we got some... Yeah, I can't even tell. It's all Thor, which is... I can't tell if that's from the 80s or 90s series. Well, volume, whatever the hell it was. Aliens, we got Superboy. I wouldn't mind actually having that one. That might be the first issue. That's us Got a Venom. and got some Conan there. A size Doctor Strange. I think it looks like that's nice. World's Finest Dollar Comic. Okay. Got the Superman on a Shadow, DC Comics, okay, and some man from Atlantis. Now really, so that's uh, more than ten dollars each, and uh, yeah, like I said, I, I said, say, I should, you should uh, consider asking considerably lower. No reply on that one. Next up, also from Offer Up, con uh, we have. Uh, 105 comics for $1,000. These looks like you got some pretty good Bronze Age stuff. I mean, hell, I got, got some stuff here I wouldn't mind having in my, my own collection. And again, I consider, I told this person that uh, that's pretty high. You should, uh, I don't know what, you got some good comics. I can't tell exactly what condition they're in. But you, I think you would have better success if uh, you can, uh, would consider lowering your asking price. More like maybe start off maybe 
I was being generous. I think I said maybe 400. It might even been about 300. I don't know. Which I think is not is uh, not bad. I mean, he might not get 300, but somebody might offer him 250. I mean, that's a lot. But come on, a thousand dollars, and uh, no reply from that one. Next up, we have here uh, Captain America, issue one. They wanted forty dollars for this, and as you can see, it's uh, this is from the uh, Heroes Return. Yeah, I have this issue. I think I have most of these, and I can't tell if that price tag there, price sticker from One Million Comics says 275. I doubt One Million Comics would have put that right on the cover. I mean, considering they're a comic book shop, they probably know better than that. But yeah, I mean, forty dollars. So I told this person. Uh, this particular issue really isn't worth that much. <clears throat> Excuse me. And in my uh, message to them, I included a link to uh, Atomic Avenue, which is kind of like, uh, well, anybody that creates an account there can sell comics. You know, show you the com the uh, series, the issue, and how much it costs depending on the grade. I told them. In fact, I can pick this up around for $2 in near mint condition, I think is what it was. No reply. Disney Comics. $200. We've got some... There's some old Whitman stuff and whoever... I don't know who the hell published these. And I... Uh, again, I told the person... I, said, yeah, I think you would have better success if you lowered your price. I don't remember what exactly what price I suggested, but no reply. <laughs> Here we have Superman issue. What was it? Seventy-five. This is the one where Superman dies. Of course, we all well, not all of us. Some of you might not have been around then. I was. In fact, I think I actually bought this the day it was released. Yeah, I bought the uh, when it came in the bag. You know, it was sealed and had the. Uh, the armband, the armband thing, the Superman symbol, and the, the Superman obituary, and there's maybe some other goodies in there. I got that one. This person wanted forty dollars. Again, um, I told them you might have better success if you lower your price. It's not all that rare. And I included the link to Atomic Avenue, showing them just how much it's going for. Again, no reply. Let me bring this uh, up here. Okay, next up, this being from uh, Offer Up, we have, bear with me, I'm, I'm trying to open this. Okay, we have, uh, let's see if I can zoom in on this here. Marvel Comics, mint condition. $150. And I said, okay, I see Wolverine, the first issue of the limited series. It's certainly not a, worth $150. So I thought, well, let me message this person. I wrote... Let me, uh, okay. How many are included? All I see is Wolverine issue one. They replied, hello, it's just for the one, but I have four boxes of different comics in mint condition. I wrote, you want $150 for that issue of Wolverine? They replied, yes. Uh, so I said, pretty high asking price. Sent the link to, uh, Showing that on Atomic Avenue. And they wrote, I see that site that wouldn't do. <laughs> wouldn't do. Do you have an offer? Which I think was what they meant. Uh, I see that site. And they typed, kind of misspelled. And they probably said, do you have an offer? Meaning, was I going to offer them any money for it? The highest on the site you sent is 
the, the highest on the site you sent, meaning Atomic Avenue, is $100, which I think was mint or near mint because they they mentioned that this uh, their their Wolverine issue one is near mint or might even been mint, according to them. Um, so I replied, yes, that's why I sent the link so that you can see how much it is selling for. And that's, I think that was it. Yeah, that was it for that one. So I didn't hear anything back from them. Now let me show up the next one here. We have Superman. Two issue 520. Excuse me, Adventures of Superman 520. From Craigslist. Okay, The Adventures of Superman, Night of Hundred, Hundred Thieves, from 1995, Volume 1. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Uh, 500, issue 520, mean condition. Please, cash only. Please, serious inquiries only. Thank you for your interest. There it is, you can see it's... I mean, you can eat, probably easily pick it up in a dollar box at your local convention or your shop. Is it really in mint condition? Mm, hell if I know. doesn't really look like it from what I can see. <laughs> so I wrote, <coughs> excuse me, hello. I think you might have a better chance selling this if you lower the price. This particular issue is not that hot and can be easily found for a dollar. In near mint condition, the ad that set the ad says that yours is in mint condition. Even in that condition, the book is worth no more than 150. 150, right? Is no worth no more than dollar fifty. And I did uh, provide a link to uh, Atomic Avenue, showing that particular issue. They replied, "Thanks for the information." You know, some of these lot to be honest. I don't know how much how, how people are going to respond. I thought you know well, tell me we're going to. I thought someone might reply, tell me to go f myself. <laughs> but no, nobody was nobody was rude to me. Um, also, from offer up, we have old school comics. Okay, let me open this again. I got the, I got the images stored on my uh, folder here, and I'm just trying to gonna add the pic gonna add the pictures later. I'm recording it right now. So we got it's kind of hard to tell. It looks to be like mostly stuff from the late '90s. Old school comics, one hundred dollars and ninety nine cents. Let me zoom in on this here, so I can read the stupid thing. Old school mix. Hmm. Okay. Oh, here it is. Let me go back to the. Let me go back to the original ad. I'm trying to find it here. It's still, it's still on here. Come on, Google Chrome. Come on, damn it! I'm gonna got all freaking night here. Son of a bitch! Reload. Come on, you asshole. Okay. Here. 
Now, what does it say in the description? Heal of a good time if you want to sit down and chill. Uh-huh. So, I contacted this person. How many comics are included? $100.99 seems pretty high. If these are all you are selling, well, a dollar a piece would to, would be more reasonable. He wrote, I can do two, I can do uh, two dollars a piece. I've had them a long time. So I said, how many comics are included? 31. So, and then he continued, so what you think you can do, it'll take 40. So already he's cut his price more than 50%. I replied, didn't see anything I need. Like, 25 just to help me out. Well, I can, I can understand. I don't know how, how it is. And, but, uh, again, I replied, didn't see anything I need. Oh. Oh, that's right. He said, like, 25 just to help me out. So I replied, sorry. And then he replied, yup. <laughs> and that was, uh, that's all there is to that one. Last of all, we have Throwback Comics. Whatever the hell that's supposed to mean. Let me open the original lad here. Well, you know what? Let me... A couple of the picks here. Can't remember exactly what was included in this one. These aren't all, all the uh, photos I had, but... How much did he want for these? Well, we'll get to that later. See, Superman, man, it's still got some Batman, got a Flash in there. Some more Flash, so again, these don't, these look like nothing you could, again, you could probably find in your dollar bin. Let's see, I've got a margin a bit so I can read it. Throw, holy shite. Throwback classic comic books, $900. Damn. I have over 50 classic comic books that you will truly love. 30 of them are still in plastic. I also have some that have gold covers and labels. They are all worth at least 5K. Holy crap. Is that a mistake? Good grief, man. Altogether, I'm giving... Out a good deal just because I'm not a comic book person. But they were a gift. He's not a comic book person. Somebody gave him comic books. <coughs> Excuse me. I would love to pass them down to someone that really enjoys them. Um, let's see if I can go to my... Inbox... I'm pretty sure I sent this guy a message. Come on. Come on, you stupid... He's a junk. Can you hear me over the Ted Nugent? Oh, come on. The computer is only three years old. Actually, I've had, had it for less than that. Okay, let's see.
Let's see if I can find it. I think I deleted the message. Mm, okay, here we go. Here we go, folks. I should have, uh, I was going to cut and tech, uh, cut and paste and make a little thing of the, of the messages. I got to do that. Do that. So I had to search for the original email. Okay. I saw your ad on Craigslist. Your ad says, I also have some that have gold covers and labels. They are all worth at least 5K. Please explain. Thanks. And this person replied, yes, they are all still available for sale. The ones with gold labels have gold covers and gold writing. It's pretty unique. Call, text, my mobile if you're interested. Give me the number. Okay. The ones with gold labels have gold covers and gold writing, so don't know if that's an enhanced covers no foil cover back in the 90s. So not really unique. Everybody was doing that back in the 90s. So yeah. $5,000. The fudge. Unless maybe it's actual real gold. <laughs> Hell, I don't definitely know. But uh, I think that's it. I think that's it for all of them. So, yeah, this goes to show you, some people think they're sitting on uh, gold when it comes to comic books. So, anyway, I might, like I said, this is just the first time doing this. I'll play it just to see how many views this one gets and keep doing it, but uh, feel free to do this yourself. Let me know uh, in the comments section if you've ever uh, stumbled up how uh, this is where you're located at. You're, you're a Craigslist and offer up. Are people offering, uh, are people, you know, are they wanting good prices or are they asking for a ridiculous price? Anyway, Hope you got at least got some entertainment out of this. Hey, all right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Catch you next time.